So let's start by creating the video file. And I think the first thing we need to do is to look at the entire length. And in this case, it's 40 seconds long, and that's probably too long. So we'll make it shorter, maybe around 10 seconds, just right after the last animation here. We'll let it stay on for a while and then say, okay, nine seconds and 16 milliseconds is the duration of this video. So I'll take the, um, the duration here and click on it and I can actually just copy it. And then I'll just right click anywhere, uh, composition settings. And then here is the duration. I'll just paste the time uh, stamp in here. And now as you can see, the entire timeline is only uh, around nine seconds long. Next, what I'll do is I'll press Control Command M, and that gives me the render queue. Now, a few things to note here: like if I click this one here, the the wallpaper.mov, it tells me that I can uh, pick a destination to output the movie to. So I'll do that, and you can choose your uh, your folder. And we'll call it FB Home and click Save. It, that doesn't mean that it ex exports it though. Uh, we'll come back to that. Also, if I export as lossless, it's going to be a huge file. So there's no reason to, to do that. So I'll just click the little arrow next to it and choose H264. And now I'll just click Render and it does it as fast as it can so don't be uh, worried if you think it goes too fast and that's it you get a sound and i just happened to put it here so this is our movie And we can um, we can share that right away. It's only two megabytes, thanks to the compression. Or we could take the next step and make an animated GIF out of it, so it's easier to share. So I usually use um, GIF Brewery, which is this thing down. So I'll just um, drag the video file down on the GIF brewery icon in my dock. You can't see that, but you can see this. And so this is GIF brewery. So let's see. The blue area down here is what I want to export, and I want to export everything, right? So we'll take this. Um, GIF properties is where I control the quality of everything here. So one very effective um, parameter to play with is the frames per second. 29 is sort of the native uh, frame rate that I worked with in After Effects. But you can go down as low as 10, 12, and it'll still be fine. But let's, uh, let's see what kind of file size we get from these settings here. So I'll put just click Create GIF. And it does its thing. So we get a, a pretty decent file size out of this, actually. Uh, a 1.4, a 1.94 megabytes is fine for emailing. It's fine for adding to uh, Google Plus on your blog. Even uh, in Google Docs, if you want to add it to a presentation or a text document, you can totally do that in this size. There's a three megabyte size uh, cap in Google Docs. So what I'll do is that I'll just uh, save this. Uh, let's see here, recent folders. And I'll call it FB Home, just like the video. Yep. And here it is, the file. 
Now I can um, add that to an email or I could uh, just add it to a presentation if I'm pitching the idea. So I'll just uh, drag the file in here. And there we go. That's we can just remove these things here. We can have this one there. Or I can add it to an email like this one here. I'll take the file and just drop it anywhere in the email field, in the body field. Here it is. Might want to make it a bit smaller. Like that. Maybe this is good. <coughs> 